Hey, let's change the batter head on my 8x12 Ludwig Centennial. I have an emperor on the bottom. My rule of thumb is I change the bottom head every other batter head change. And I just, um, I change the batter head, I don't know, not very often. Um, these drums lead a pretty easy life in the studio. They just, they don't get beat real bad. All right, let's do the top head. This is the one I dented. Yeah, you can see the sag. You can hear how different that sounds. This has a lot more sustain. You don't need to go crazy typically with the bearing edges. Um, it's a good idea to put uh, a little bit of beeswax on here every once in a while. I'm irritated because I couldn't find my, I can't find my beeswax. It's like, I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna have to conduct an all out search. It's a large diameter shell for size. So you can see it just it doesn't sit very well the head doesn't sit very well at all it's more of a, a vintage shell size and it looks like um, 45 probably 30 degree inside and 45 outside so now comes the tricky part as you can see it, it doesn't center itself well at all on the drum so these can be tricky to tune let's get this party started Run down by finger. We're not quite touching the rim. I'm not close to that. Now you go back and forth like so. Try and center it. Now you start running down. These are holders. They're getting there to give it a nice because that's not. I don't feel good. So, not at all. First, I press down on the rim and just tighten it by finger. You weren't at all. You can hear the head starting to relax. And then the head should start singing almost immediately. Some semblance of tone there. And you can hear how that was low. I tightened this one and it brought this up to pitch. to pitch. I do not believe in tuning to pitch. The problem with tuning to a certain tone, a certain pitch, a certain note, is that you could miss the drum's sweet spot in search of some theoretical optimum. Uh, reality and theory don't always agree. Well, this thing just made a liar of me. It uh, tuned up pretty quick. dissonance there. Good to 
get rid of that. just a tiny bit, ended up just a tiny bit higher than the bottom head. And when you are tapping to get that pitch, you don't, don't, don't use a key, don't use a drumstick, just use your finger. Because you can, I've actually seen it happen, you can damage the bearing edge through the head. If you hit it with something, you know, if you're tapping with a drum key or something, you don't need to, just use your finger. Much safer. Sounds pretty good. Oh, that's very nice. A lot of sustain, nice clean tone. Now, if we can mount this and it still sounds good, we're golden. All right, here we go. Hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, among other things, and I'm going to hope and pray. That sounds good. Let's tighten it up and see what happens. That sounds pretty good. So, that's how we do it. Um, it's not super critical. Um, to tune to a pitch. Just find a drum sweet spot. And if you're really lucky, you'll have a mounting system that doesn't interfere with the, the resonance, the sustain. If you do have a problem, you can either try a different mount, which is time consuming and expensive, or you can just tune it to a different pitch. Um, and that's really the problem with tuning to a pitch, is you can tune a drum and you know maybe you tune it to uh, a flat and it sounds great and then you mount it and it goes dead so then what do you do well you're gonna have to tune it to another pitch or you're gonna have to just live with a choked up piece of garbage that's how i tune my toms i tune them off the drum set and uh, when i put them together they always sounded great um, and it doesn't matter if it's a four piece or if it's a 12 piece. I've always tuned them that way. And the intervals magically end up very musical and pleasing to the ear. This, this head will seat, new heads will seat and they will uh, drop in pitch just a little bit and you just keep after it um, first week. And by then it should take a set and it should be, if it's a decent quality drum, the tuning should remain stable.